What's up guys, it's Nas, and welcome back to NTG Gaming. As you can see, I am currently on my phone using an app called KineMaster. KineMaster is an editing app that I use to edit all of my videos that are posted on Instagram or YouTube, whichever one. This basically helps you do it very, very perfectly fine. So, I had a friend ask me one day, how do I get audio or music in the background of my video? Now you can do both audio, maybe like a meme sound or a really cool song you want to put a compilation to in the background of almost any video you produce on KineMaster. The way you have to do it is you have to have the sound or you have to have the file downloaded to the phone. It, can't, it cannot be pulled from Instagram or it can't be pulled from Spotify, a whole bunch of music apps like that. It can unfortunately cannot be pulled from there. You have to have it as an actual file on the phone just as the video that you're going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and go to my testing project that I have open right now. We're going to go ahead and click on the edit button. Now as you can see in my project view window, which is the little screen you see, that's basically the main part of the screen. You can see that it will show the video playing. I have some special effects in because I was messing around with them a couple of days ago. So as you can see, I'm moving the playhead around and it's showing you where as long as the playhead is over the selected video, basically you'll see it in the project view menu. I'm going to go and go back to the beginning of the project and I'm going to add in some audio. So as you can see next to the project view menu, you can see or view window, you can see a little wheel with a lot of options. The little button in the center that looks like a camera lens, that's how you can capture um, either your face or you can capture uh, anything in front of the camera, things like that. But we want to go to the right of that and we're going to click audio which has the music note. Now, if I wanted to add in an audio file, which is basically any one of these, these are all songs or meme audios that I've used for other videos or that I may use in upcoming videos. So you can sort through all of them by going to your albums, whoever made the song, the genres you have, a whole bunch of other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go to albums and I'm going to click the song Savior. I forgot who made the song, but I know that the name of the song is Savior because it says it right there. So when you first tap on the video or when you first tap on the... Um, audio file or the meat or the song, it will then play the song for you. This, now, if I were to press I've pause, it stops the song. Now, listen carefully to listen carefully to this. Because you tapped on it, that does not mean that it is in the project timeline. It is not in the project timeline until you press the play button. That is how you add it to the timeline. So, if I were to press the play button right now, it will then add it to the timeline, and it will show up as a green or teal colored file or timeline project yeah i don't really know how i would call that um or entity however you want to call it so as i scroll through you can see that the song will cover up the length of the video now unfortunately depending on how long your video is that will tell you how long of the audio file will be used if i were to add a whole bunch of video to the length of the song, then the entire song will play. But until then, unless I add audio up until this point, which is the end of the song, or unless I add video up until the end of the song, which is right at this point, there will not be any audio playing at all. So where the video ends is where the project will basically end. If I were to produce this video right now, the video will end at this point. Now, that's basically how you add the audio to the project. You can do many different things with the audio, like change some of the um, way it sounds, loop it, trim it, stuff like that. You can affect, you can change the audio level of it if you want it to play over your video. You can do that. You can do some keyframing by choosing where you want the video to play loud and where you want it to play low. A whole bunch of things like that, which is the best way to do it if you are making a video with commentary like this one now. So that's basically a basic tutorial about how to add an audio file to a project and then you can later produce it after you're done editing everything in this, into the video. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see a lot more tutorials along the way, make sure you like and comment what you would like to see me make a video about for an editing tutorial. Other than that, that's it for this video and I hope to see you all, see you all in the next one.